Hey everybody, Lisa here with Cake Marketing Mechanics and today I'm going to show you how to sign up for a Google Plus profile. Um, I'm going to assume that most of you have a, a Google email already or a Google uh, profile already um, and basically all that means is that you've signed up for a Gmail address and have created some kind of profile on Google. With that being said, most of us will have a, um, a Google homepage. Yours may not look like this because I've populated it. I've, add feed, I've added feeds for um, things that I'm interested in. But that being said, you all will have roughly um, a homepage that has some kind of a header and probably not a lot of information, but you will have all of these up here. So. In order to get a Google Plus profile, you will see on yours, it will say, if you haven't already created one, it will say Plus U. That is uh, the generic for Google Plus. My, in my case, mine says Plus Lisa because I've already signed up for one. So we're going to bear with me here because um, I'm going to have to talk you through this a bit. So if you hit that Plus U, it's going to take you to a window that is a wizard that allows you to start populating some of your information more than likely you will have a page that looks somewhat like this without all the information on it. So you'll have um, their default cover photo is um, a dark background with bubbles on it and then I believe their default profile photo is the, the like a grayed out profile picture of a you know generic looking person and you won't have all these postings and this information populated in your profile. So the first thing I would do is um, whatever you don't fill out when you sign up for the Google Plus, when you go through that wizard, you're going to want to come here and edit your profile. Basically that will do is allow you to access those parts of your profile that either need changing or updating. So for instance, um, you can do your tagline, you can put an introduction, you can put um, something like this. I haven't, I don't have any bragging rights that I've put up here, but I, I will fill that out. Um, and all the personal information that you're comfortable sharing. You don't have to fill all of it out, <clears throat> but if you're using it for business purposes or for connecting purposes, I recommend you sharing whatever you're comfortable with. That will allow people to make contact with you a lot easier and to find you. Um, something else I want to point out to you is this, change contact settings. You can control who has the ability to contact you. Right now, my profile is wide open. Um, but what you can do is you could click this and you could say, I only want people in my circles to be able to send a message to me. So someone who's in your circle is comparable to someone who's a friend of yours on Facebook. Only those people that you've okayed in your circles are allowed to contact you. Um, so that's people that you've chosen to connect with not people that have chosen con to connect with you. Um, additionally, you can even lock it down even more and allow people to email you from a link on your profile. The public, your circles, only you, you can customize it. Again, you have the ability to, um, to limit how people contact you via Google+, but I'm not going to do any of that. You want to go through all of these, your posts here, um, if there's photos you want to update, you can add them here and you can add how people can find you as well here. You can add a location if you want. Um, YouTube. Um, I have some of my videos showing up on here from my old YouTube channel. Um, plus ones. I can show this. Uh, let's show that on my tab. Let's show that. Um, that basically talks about how many people have plus one your profile. Um, so now that I've done that, I'm going to click done editing. And again, remember, you're going to have the default here and the default here. So I recommend changing your cover photo and you can upload it, upload it from your photos or um, uh, Google Plus has some um, already populated photos that you can use for them as well. This one, uh, you're going to have that weird grayed out um, profile. I would definitely recommend you update a profile photo, whether it's a picture of you or a logo or your dog or kids, whatever it is. Uh, I would put in my opinion, it's best to put your photo if you're comfortable with people seeing what you look like because you want that name recognition. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to start connecting with people. <clears throat> so how you connect with people, I think you see this up here, is you can just put names. And um, let me think if there's anybody I may not have connected with already. Um, no, I've already connected with Abigail. Um, oh, let's see. Here, let's look up 
Uh, all right, so Bernie Borges, I have connected with him, but let's let's show you what I'm talking about. So Bernie, let's go ahead and unclick him. If I hadn't already started doing something with Bernie, I would go to his profile and you'd see this add to circles. So I would click add to circles and then for Bernie, I am actually following him via social media. So I click on that and now that he is in the circle of social media for me. So you can do that with many other profiles as well. Um, and I recommend you do that with people that you know. Um, and then at some point you can start looking here and seeing um, who are in other people's circles that may be appropriate for you to follow them. Um, you can see here, these are the ones that I have in common with him. These are people he, that have him in their circles. That's kind of the way you expand your circles, but also do searches with people to see um, if they show up. Um, and then just start, you know, exploring around. Um, I think that you'll find that Google Plus is something that's going to be developing here quite quite a bit in the next um, six months to a year. Um, it's kind of a still a baby platform in the world of social media and connecting, but I think that there's a lot of capability and it's a Google product, so it's something that you're going to want to, to, to get on and, and feel comfortable with. If you have any questions about Google or Google Plus, please feel free to contact me at Lisa at, I'm sorry, ldemi, D-E-M-M-I, at cakemm.com. Or you can reach me at 813-361-2626. And that's Lisa from Cake Marketing Mechanics. Hopefully we'll end up in a circle together. Talk to you soon.